there's been so many highs and then the lowest of lows. Who's what all saying, I'm too old, I'm too slow. Tasha Jonas is the closest one to beating Katie Taylor. You do start to question me, is it just not going to work for me? She hit rock bottom and she came back. Winning the title of 37 was just a case of better late than never. There's no other sporting athlete out there. Maybe Tiger Woods to make that type of comeback. This is just the beginning. Oh, there's no question that my family's competitive. Your DNA makes you the person that you are. But I'm not just anybody, I'm Tasha Jonas. We're in the um, training station to my uncle's gym. I come here to do my strength and conditioning. At 38, people say you work smarter, not harder. One more. Is it? Yeah. There we are. We're going to recount that. I think the older and more experienced you get, the more you get to learn about the body. It's like a fine bottle of wine, Natasha, you know what I mean? Like, it just keeps getting better with age. She's probably one of the best technical fighters. You can really see that age is just a number. The champ, uh, the champ. <laughs> number one. The number one. <laughs> Uncle Paul's being a professional bodybuilder. I think it all started from that, that generation, to be honest. Now we've got Marcel who does the bodybuilding, Enea who does karate, Lee's a footballer, Casey's a footballer, I'm a boxer, Liam's MMA. And then obviously there's, there's Nikita, who's won the European Cup. You can't argue with the results. I think UK sports should just fund our families. I used to go to my uncle's karate gym. A woman used to bug me to go along to a boxing session, never looked back since. It's taken me to boxing for England, becoming a national champion five times. First woman to represent GB in an Olympics. I got pregnant with Emila after I'd left GB. There was no professional women's scene. I'd retired from my sport. But right, now's the time to have a baby and settle. I was 30 at the time. Hello, welcome. This is my nan's house. It's probably the epicenter of the, the family. Obviously, my nan's the matriarch. Is that the word I'm looking for? Is that, what it, yeah. that the word? The matriarch of the family now. <laughs> my mum was a young mum. She had me when she was 15. Nan was always there to, to help out. 38 grandkids and 36 grades. We literally at one point did all live in this house as well, yeah. didn't we? This is where everyone comes to chill, moan, cry, eat. The law. It's a loving, caring family that, you know, people only want to see you do well. You go do. to every fight, yeah. I don't like it, because I don't like to see them getting beat, but I support them, because that's what they want to do. We do have our moments, like any other family, but it's behind closed doors. I know you're not talking, and I know you're not... I don't eat off anyone else's plate. Don't you, you know why? No, I know I do. The two of them. When I grew up, it was like the time of the riots, a lot of unemployment, drugs gangs and it's easy to fall into traps but I always promised myself that I'd be that I'd be different. Having that person to look up to I've been lucky enough to, to have my big sister I've seen go through all the hardships. <laughs> She's wanting to fight me ten minutes ago. <laughs> Tasha's too modest to say it but she is that that symbol for a lot of us and probably for a lot of the city. I'd say your environment's everything. A lot of my attitude and comes from that. You just can't give up. You should always strive to keep on achieving. After the Olympics, obviously Katie Turn Pro Sky got me in to do the commentary for that and they were like, there could be opportunities for other women. Then I was going back to the world of boxing. I was thinking, okay, see where this goes. <laughs> good, good. All right, listen, Tasha, take it easy with the power, Tash. Come on. Right from the off, I just saw a, a ratitude, a dedication was bang on. The first world title fight was against Terry Harper. She was brought in as people thought kind of fodder for Terry Harper. Obviously it turned out to be a draw, which I thought I was very unfortunate to get. Natasha Jonas won that world title. I'll have, have the argument with you. Then you get the Katie Taylor fight. Yeah, I lost. I lost by a round. That was a hard pill to swallow. After that point, I just thought, oh, this isn't going to happen for her now. Natasha Jonas! The whole build-up to the Namus fight was last chance saloon, basically. It was like a you know, third time, third different weight, third different person. If it didn't happen then, it was never going to happen. Look at that! Oh, oh, that's 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 down goes Nevers yes. in the opening session, and she fancies it by knockout here. And she is down again. Natasha Jonas is finally a world champion. Let's go. 
helps us, don't quit. We haven't got to quit in us. If you say we can't, we're going to prove to you that we can. If you say that we're wrong, we're going to prove to you that we're right. She hit the rock bottom and she came back and now she's on the top of the mountain. Everything in life doesn't go your way and you learn a lot from the things that don't more than the things that do. I was always surrounded by people that I loved. I never felt on my own. And she's won three world titles in the space of a year. Natasha is a British boxing legend.